Today we're going to be looking at uh, one of the weapons that I've showcased before firing. Um, if you do a search, and I'll put a link in the description for PPSH Polar Star. Um, uh, I want to explain a, a situation here on this. I got this gun and I used it for quite a while and then it just tore itself up. I mean gears stripped, everything inside messed up. So I tried to fix it. Major problems. So I said to uh, Rudy um, at Bingo Airsoft Designs about putting a Polar Star engine in this. In the interim, I had bought a second one and I was using that. It was an AEG. And it started having the same problems that the original one had. So I contacted Z Shot, and Z Shot was able to take the gun, fix it all up, send it back to me, and it's like 200% better than what it was. Uh, shooting fantastic, working great, the whole nine yards. So I had an AEG version and I had a Polar Star version. What I've done recently is I actually sold the Polar Star version, or uh, sold, I'm sorry, sold the AG version to a teammate of mine uh, with a side mount on it that I put on it and a scope, a uh, vintage scope and uh, a sling. And he's been using that. But this one here, I wanted to show, this is a Polar Star, of course. And I have a, a green drop case, PPSH drop case for it. And what I started doing, and I have another video with Mag Choices that shows you the couple of mags that I made up along with the ones you could buy for it. So right now I have six mags. I have five real steel mags with uh, MP5 ends in them. Then I have a, one right here which is actually a 50 round uh, mag, it's an Angel Custom 50 round mag with a 3D printed end on here uh, that will go into the gun, clicks in place, solid as a rock, okay? And it feeds great. I've been, I've been using this and this is the one I'm going to put with this. Um, Everything on this works like a champ. I was shooting three O's, getting out to 125 feet, 150 feet, which is what I normally want to do with it. So um, it's a great gun. If you get a chance to pick one up, I think they are fantastic. First thing I would do is disable the blowback because this clack, 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 clack. That's all you hear when it shoots. That was the first thing I got rid of on Mayan. Now right now Mayan... I lost the handle off of here, so I made a little piece of wood and filed it off so that you can still grab it to get at the uh, hop-up. It doesn't keep closed. It comes open a little bit, but it won't go back unless you really pull it back. So pulling it forward and letting it go, it's fine. Other than that, uh, the gun is fully functional as a Polish Star engine. I have it adjusted out to work real well. Very interesting gun. Um, I will talk to my friend about, he said he was going to release this design for the putting the uh, 50 round mags in it, which will give you an option for now the SOB mags uh, or the Angel Custom 50 round mags will fit in his design the way it works. And I mean they clip in, clip, feed, they won't come out, good to go. So it's an actual good mag to actually run with it along with the drum mags. Now you can use the ones that come from Ares s &T, or if you do a little modification on the mag catch you can use the Hexagon Productions uh, 600 round mag and they have one that has a, a smaller mechanism I think it's only 110 round mag but if you're going to use a, a, a mag a drum mag on this gun you want to have at least 600 rounds in it, 110 rounds, it might be more realistic though. So that's my Ares PPSH, I was just outside shooting it, you've seen the shooting video before so I don't really need to show that again. But this is uh, my last one and I still have the orange tip that slides on here, I have it in the one bag right in here that if I do go uh, somewhere and they require an orange tip I can just push that sucker back on there and I've got an orange tip on there, it's a nice big square thing. So. Other than that, 
That's a look at my Aries PPSH. There's big long stories I could go into with this and how I've used it and everything like that. But one of my things that I will be doing with this is I sold, sold my vintage mount and scope with the AEG version. So what I'm going to be doing is looking for a vintage side mount and also a vintage scope to put on here uh, just for looks. Um, maybe a nice, nice 4X or 3X scope to put on top here, even a 2X. It didn't really matter, matter as long as it's a vintage Russian type scope. So I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, you guys have a good day.